Welcome back, guys, for some more Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm Will. I'm Brenton. And we're the gamers. Woo! Woo! Hope you guys enjoyed our post-commentary session. <laughs> so weird. Oh, man, I rewatched all those videos and I just laughed. Okay, so, um, we made our way over here to, if I can bring up my map really quick. How do we... Square, there we go. Um, see how we're at Evesham and there's a little green dot? Yep, that's where we are. That's where we needed to be. So we're there gonna go ahead and start. There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Huh? Okay, well, <laughs> while we were introducing multiple trace tracks, wheel traces, anything else? Heavy vehicle traces. Traces. There's our vehicle. Let's take a closer look. What are we looking for? Take a measurement. As if we haven't done this enough in this freaking... The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches huh. the vehicle would have exactly. been heavy as these tracks are quite deep <clears throat> these traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials the traces found at the disassembled shed near evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle or a similar vehicle interesting very, very interesting. It was the butler. The butler is always the one to blame. With a pipe in the kitchen. It's not that kind of game. This We're road should lead the to the town This of road should lead out of town to Evesham. What else am I looking for? What else am I looking for? Go to your, uh... Objectives. Um, well, in just a moment, I want to... Is there anything else I need to look over here? Oh, maybe I need to talk to the station master now that I've, like, discovered all this shit. And, like, mm. literally shit. I mean, what the hell happened here? It's a lot of shitting. Th that's all random. Okay, now I'll go to my objectives. Lots of random shitting. Uh, examine the side railway branch at Evesham. Okay, I'm doing that. Examine Doncaster Railway Station for suspicious details and clues, as if I haven't done that already. We need to go back there, though, or it would be completed. Hmm. Yeah. Let me talk to the station master here really quick. Well, if it wants us to look at this side right here, then there's probably something else. There has to be something else. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Yeah. Go to your special vision. This one? Yeah, I wonder if he uses this when he's drunk. <laughs> or when he's, he drinks to look like this. Um, I know sometimes when I drink too much I have special vision. I bet you do. Did you drink a lot when you went to Wendover? Oh. Yes. Um, the special vision thing only worked for this. The tracks, yeah. Yeah, this was it. Okay. <coughs> um, this one doesn't... I don't know. I think it still wanted us to... No, I'm just gonna go talk to this station master. Because I can't think of anything else to do in that little area. And I mean, he obviously... He has to know what's going on. Talk. Obviously it's loading, so... Ha! Told you so. It appears you that there was a nothing. small warehouse near your station. That's and that it was said. disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. And why would anyone want to? <coughs> See you later, my good man. To reroute the train. Triangle. Triangle, you got a starfish. Got a starfish. Okay, old railway to quarry, rails to mines are missing, stolen, stolen rail, track. 
Nope. Yep. Okay. Road to mine. Somebody stole the trails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was... Cray. Inside mines. The train is sealed underneath the collapsed mines. Yeah, we already kind of figured that part out. Woo! So the Chileans stole the prototype. Yeah, isn't that what we've been talking about the whole yeah. time, though? Like, Kate, that's what I'm going to go with. Blind justice or political game? Oh, wow, I thought we were going to finish this. Damn it, we could have done this the last time we were recording. Eh. Why do we always do this? <laughs> okay. The Chilean stole Robinson's prototype for be. financial gain. Who knows what they might do next? Contact Lestrade and allow the police to perform their loud and swift justice, even the risk of international conflict. Ugh. Or political game. A criminal, criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Mycroft a chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turned into his own advantage. I'd say political game. I'm going to agree with you. Yep, that's my moral choice. Let's see what the hell happens, because this has just been as confusing as hell. Yes. I'm so glad this is over. <laughs> or at least this freaking... But I'm so confused. We didn't do examine... Yeah. I'm gonna have to play this again at a different time. This just this particular one. Mm -hmm. Because apparently we missed something at Doncaster, and I have a feeling it's gonna make a huge difference. Probably. So here here we go. <clears throat> but that means we get to start a new investigation this video, I'm guessing. Woo! That's kinda cool. Yeah. It, because that means we'd have gotten to the halfway point of the game. Yeah. Which is weird. I and wonder... the case oh. is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble, but it will be a long and drawn out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. <laughs> All right. Um, clues found. 21? Did we find all of them, though? I think it would tell us we found all of them, right? <clears throat> yeah. Damn it! Let's find out what happened. Um, okay. Uh, press to check conclusion. Damn it! And that ah, I missed two clues. I missed two clues. So choose another ending. <laughs> nope, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna accept this one and move on. I wonder who it was then. Your ranking. Personality ranking. Neutral. neutral. Um Off the Rails. Earned a trophy. Yay. Huh. Bloodbath. That's what the next case is called. Ooh. Murder. 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 Murderer. Troll. Troll in the dungeons. I I've been oh. watching Star Kids product like fan fade me fan fan made musicals of Harry Potter and they are hilarious. You'll love them <laughs> so much. I'll have to, like, I have to show you after we record this, but they seriously are so hilarious. <laughs> they just take hours to watch. Ugh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to replay that second investigation. Holmes, what happened? I feel deathly. 
And you look it. Let me examine you. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your old habits. Huh. What the hell? The pupil, pupil. is dilated. Is there anything else? It's got a dirty collar. Yes, but it is not letting me examine it. It's not letting me move or move anywhere else around. Oh, check forehead. The temperature appears to be normal. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. What the shit? Measure pulse rate by counting the heartbeats for ten seconds. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. I don't know what to do here. I'm supposed to hit X every time I like heart rate. Thank you. For some reason, I did not catch that. A weak pulse, around fifty beats per minute. I can never feel my pulse in my wrist. I always have to go to my neck. But you're dying, Please. Holmes. Your Shh. pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The antidote. <laughs> Give it to me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? Now. Please. Here. Drink it all. Don't tell me that you did this to yourself. Hemlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Holmes, imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. He's an idiot. Mr. Holmes, Inspector he Lestrade is, is here to see you. Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. A good day, Inspector. Ah, Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to find you here. I need your help. This is a strange one. We have brought in two young bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. They were found stranded in a rowing boat that was drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the bath, but... Uh, uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway... There was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that the largest steamer ever built? Yes. And these two young banker chaps are sons of the owners of the White Star Line, the company that built it. There are rumors of corruption. I'm not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll keep it then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe to your liking. It's a murder, but we're unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. It's at the Roman Baths in Strand Lane. A murder, a vanishing weapon, the Roman Baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. I don't really want to see the naked bankers. <clears throat> Hold on. I want to change his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm that gay. <laughs> oh God. There's a... There's a... Outfit of his. I want to have him wear something different for every investigation. Uh. Just to make the cutscenes... Seem... There we go. Cooler. Morning gown. Unbutton suit. That's the one I wanted to do. And exit. Confirm. Hmm. Yeah, what? You didn't change it. Why did it not let me change it? Because everything is not awesome. Um, select. To makeup table. And, and exit. Some makeup options or costume you have currently equipped are not available at the moment. Oh. Oh, okay. You can't have it yet. You can't have it yet. Lame. Okay. Whatever. Um, hold on. They told me to do this because... Oh, it's just telling me that... <clears throat> <laughs> Fail. 
souvenir. I got a train whistle. Sweet. Let's go tasks. Join the strat at the strand lane baths. Cool. Let's go to the baths because we have like let's five to, minutes. Let's go to the Roman baths. What let's, happens there? I do know what happens Bunch there. Of naked men having sex. Mmm, Italian men. Why not? London or wherever we're at. Mm, Italian. Very Englishmen. Old, mm. old Englishmen. Okay, we're done. Done with what? Your sick fantasies. Oh, with old Englishmen. Yes. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I bet this isn't really like a bathhouse either. Huh? Just you wait. Just this you is, watch. Just Roman baths. Just you watch. Beautiful place. With a dreadful murder. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched, per your usual instructions, Mr. Holmes. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. He's probably naked. Suspects. The crime weapon. Are you able to identify the men who are with the victim in the steam room? Yes. The manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. He doesn't seem right in the head. Well, we shall see. There are like three different suspects. Yep. Right? <clears throat> he said them so quickly that I was like, oh my gosh. I'm sure there are no You notes. found no murder weapon? No. And that's why I called you. All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, and they remained so until we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. I see. So we locked them in there. Hmm. Was there anyone else here, apart from those gentlemen in the steam room? Yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He will be able to give you more details. Uh, examine the crime scene and the Roman baths. Um, the Philip dude, where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Um, let's go ahead and talk and profile him, okay. and then we will start the investigation next episode. How okay. does that sound? Yeah. Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Okay, profile him first. And there are two, four, six different things. Light wrinkles. <laughs> okay. Scissor cut. Grooms himself. Lives alone. Whoa. He can get that all from just a haircut? I guess. Scratch coil. Fastidious. What does fastidious mean? Uh, fastidious? I don't know. Man, I used to be the I used to be the English major. What the hell happened to me? <laughs> I need to read a dictionary again. Sometimes I like reading the dictionary. I'll be honest. You would. Oh, I can't read it. Shiny buttons. New band name. Manchester City. Telegram. Sent today. Look in his pockets. Down. No, I. Oh, there it is. There you go. <laughs> I love how you knew what that said. Nice job. Tell us what happened. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very well, sir. I came in at 6 30 this morning and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night. Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. 
So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up, and then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Were there any other visitors? Mm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. And what happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room? Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I think we'll continue this in the next episode. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's kind of nice to start a new investigation and end one in the same video. And so far, I am not playing this game too well because I convicted the first murderer wrong and it obviously wasn't ch the Chileans. And when I think about it, based on everything that we had discovered, um, it makes sense. It makes yeah. a lot more sense. So I also missed two clues. So I'm so glad to know that if I ever wanted to become a detective, I'll suck at it. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. My name's Brenton. I'm Will. And we're the Geekies. Bye. Bye.